I've used PC Part Picker for years and I still love it, but I might have just found a website that completely changes the game when it comes to planning out your next build. The website is called Build Cores, and not only does it do everything PC Part Picker does, it visualizes your build in 3D instantly. I'm talking a fully rendered model that updates as you change the parts, it's sleek, the UI is nice, and honestly, it makes PC Part Picker feel a bit dated. Now, don't get me wrong, this is where I started my upcoming high-end PC build, but once I saw what build cores could do, I knew I had to show this off. And even my cousin, who's had a Steam account since 2004, which can now legally drink, bookmarked this website as soon as I showed it to him. This isn't sponsored, it's just that cool. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through what Build Cores is, how it compares to PC Part Picker, and why you might want to switch over if you're planning your next rig. So this is the landing page on the Build Cores website, and it's currently still in beta, which there's a good chance that's why you haven't heard of it yet. However, you can already start building whatever PC you want. Now, I'm going to go ahead and mock up basically what my uh, PC build's looking like in build cores, and let's see the differences between this and PC Part Picker. So you'll notice when you're picking parts that it has a 3D option. So basically what that means is it's going to show that exact board, you know, as best it can inside of the 3D visualizer. And if it doesn't have that, it's just going to have kind of like a wire frame of what it'll essentially look like. So it looks like the board I'm going to be purchasing also has a 3D render. Alright, so check that out. Alright, let's continue adding some more parts. Okay, that's actually really nice. So this is kind of the MSI graphics card that I'm going to be going for. And I kind of like the subtle RGB. I was originally planning absolutely zero RGB. But I figured that um, I might, if it's, if the motherboard is going to have it, I might as well just tack it on. All right, so I'm still going pretty subtle here. I like this one right here. I'm only going for two sticks of RAM, just because if you use four, apparently it's not exactly that stable. Um, it's more, it does more harm than good if you take up all four lanes of RAM, essentially. All right, so notice the uh, AIO cooler that I'm going to be putting in doesn't have that 3D marker. So let's see what that shows up like. Okay, yeah, so you see what I mean by that wireframe? It's still pretty cool and gives you a great idea of what to expect. Because, like, this is the PC case. You know, that's with the side fans and everything. So that's actually really cool. I'm trying to go for absolute top tier that I can do. This drive apparently launched in June of this, of 2025. And I got it when it was on a sale for, like, 375 However, the sale has since ended <laughs> so let's continue adding some more parts so i'm a big fan of the be quiet brand i've i found them super reliable and i'm gonna go ahead and find their i'm gonna try to use one of their power supplies because apparently the fan will turn off if it's not needing it and i'm buying all case fans from this brand and the titanium certification means that it's going to utilize 94% of the p power of more efficiently. So let's go ahead and add that. Oh, look, look, you can kind of see the silhouette on the bottom. That's cool. I wonder if you're able to configure where it goes. Oh, look at that. That's because these are 140. Hmm. Not 120s. See? Okay, that's pretty good. That means I can't put this on the rear. That's really interesting. All right, so I'll put this on the top, put this on the rear, put this on the top. Okay, so it wasn't the fact that it couldn't place it. It's because these are 140 millimeter fans, and you can only place 140 plus 140 is 280, plus another 140 is too much. <laughs> um, okay. All right, so we pretty much have our build all set up right here. And as you can see, here's the kind of the, the cost breakdown. You can honestly just take a screenshot of that. Let's see if it mentions any compatibility issues. Because, like, the one thing I did notice with PC Part Picker is if you notice here, it's showing a compatibility warning specifically for the CPU and the motherboard, basically just giving you a heads up hey, if you have an old BIOS version, it might be incompatible. But 
I've done my research. This motherboard has flash BIOS as an option, which doesn't even need a CPU or RAM or anything like that in order to do. So I, I'll be good either way. Uh, it tells you that estimated power consumption. Now that we're signed up, <laughs> we can kind of see the estimated FPS in all of these games. You can kind of see a CPU score and a GPU score. Oh, this is okay. You can choose. So 1080 Ultra. Okay. What if I want to do 4K? 4K Ultra. Dang, that's crazy. Still only 45 FPS in <laughs> Cyberpunk. Oh man, that's rough. But yeah, this is the Build Core's website where you can kind of, you know, visualize your build, see the pricing, see the compatibility, the wattage, everything you need. You can even add additional products to all that and I don't know. I think it's a great alternative, a great option, just like there's Coke and Pepsi. One of them's right, but it's great to have the option for those that want to be incorrect, whichever one you choose. If you liked this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so that you can get a notification when I actually build this thing. I'm going to go through the whole process and then I'll show you guys the end results of my whole kind of gaming setup. See you guys next time.